it's kind of been kind of cool, right? Exploring different yeah. parts of Northeast Ohio, doing it zip code by zip code, really mm -hmm. looking for the best of the best. Yeah, and this morning we have a very historic city that has seen a lot of growth. Austin Love is unzipping Avon Lake, the 44012. Welcome to Shoreman Country. Avon Lake is a small town with a big view, a lake town with a football obsession. Just take a look at the lawn outside of Avon Lake High School. They always support their undefeated Shoreman. A supporter of sports and our servicemen and women. They pay homage to our vets at Veterans Memorial Park. It's a town where families come to stay. Avon Lake's a great community. We moved here 30 years ago when our kids were little, so they were raised here, went to school here. People stick around for the great schools, recreation, along with some great local spots to eat and drink. Area favorites, Fratello's Italian Restaurant for fine dining, and Close Quarters, where the name really fits. The dive bar is only 600 square feet, making it one of the smallest bars in the entire country. And we can't forget our four-legged friends. They can get pampered at Paws by the Lake. It's a pet resort and doggy daycare. It's very community oriented. This year, the community is celebrating its 200th birthday, a spot that's been here for 83 of them, Clink Shern Wineries. When uh, Prohibition was repealed, my grandfather fired up a uh, great press and started putting juice into the basement of the house. And they've been going strong ever since. Lee is the third generation of Clink Shurns to be winemakers, and if he has anything to say about it, he won't be the last to crush some grapes right here in Avon Lake. We will continue to be here for a long time yet. And a house that's been in the community for a very long time. I'm outside of the Folger home right now. It's right on the lake here in Avon Lake. And to be able to talk a little bit more about that and, of course, the community, I went right to the source. The, the head honcho here in Avon Lake, uh, Mayor Greg Zilka. Um, thanks so much for being here, Mayor Zilka. Tell us a little bit um, about the community and tell us a little bit about this house as well. First of all, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah. Uh, the Folger home was built around 1910. Thomas Folger, who was the mayor of Valeria at the time, built this as a summer home. He also had a farm, a grape farm, which this whole area was grape vineyards. And he lived here for a number of years and uh, the house was given to the city uh, a number of years ago and it was used as a town hall and it was used as a court and it was used as the mayor's yep. office, fell in disrepair. And then we, we've, the last 10, 15 years with a lot of effort from uh, the Heritage Avon Lake Society, yeah. Uh, we fixed it up and we're very proud of how it looks shining in the, in the nighttime here. <laughs> and it looks gorgeous. So we're going to be talking about the Folger home and the Avon Lake all morning long. Coming up in the next half hour, we're going to be talking about the 200th anniversary for the birthday. But for now, Maureen, over to you. All right. Very cool to see all those places in that house. So amazing to see in person if you haven't already. And if you have an idea of where we should unzip next, let us know. We have a map on WKYC.com that shows the cities we've already featured on Unzipped in green. So many more, all those in orange that still yet to be featured. So let us know what's great in your hometown.